I decided to make an executive decision on who to bring as my sixth Pokemon. And after much consideration, it all came down to one thing. A Pokemon's nickname. That's right, I'm deciding to bring a Pokemon only because of his nickname. And which Pokemon is that? We have Angel, Waddles, Baco, Toto, Minion, Peducci, Dino, or Dino, who knows, Trunks, Chewitz, and Tubby. Which one am I bringing? Minion. That's right, and Minion is going to be literally our new Minion because I know people are going to be infuriated by this, but I'm going to use Absol as an HM slave. That's right, he's going to get Flash, he's going to get Cut, he's going to get Strength. Assuming he lives that long, I'm assuming, I think Absol can learn Strength. And if he actually lives all the way to Sevi Islands, he'll probably get Rock Smash as well. So, yeah. Honestly, you know, considering that Absol is like a really kind of a physical attacker, and I know people are going to start commenting on moves, like fantastic movesets for Absol, but Stark is a special type in this game, and Absol can learn like all the HMs that we need. He can learn Cut, he can learn Flash for unknown reasons. So, it just kind of makes sense, you know, and I just, I, yeah. So I decided Minion, and you know Minion, he's going to be doing our Minion work, so it, it makes sense that... Minion should be our minion, so that's just that's the way it's gonna be. And he'll still be able to attack. I mean, he won't have all four HMs for a long time, so he's not gonna like be completely useless. Don't worry, he'll still have some activity. But for the most part, we're not gonna be training him, so we're kind of just running on a five Pokemon team at the moment, which isn't too horrible because we got a pretty freaking awesome team at the moment, if you ask me. Although I do miss Aron; he was pretty awesome, but. I'm, I'm happy with our team right now, you know, what next, up next we have Erica, and after having a, like, not very good chance, well, actually, with Misty and Lieutenant Sirius, we really didn't have anything strong against her, oh boy, all five of my main Pokemon have moves that are strong against Erica, so, it's like, thank you, yeah, uh, Erica, I'm just gonna call it now, I don't think she stands much of a chance, okay, just a prediction, so, Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our way to Route 10, and oh god, a bug trainer, whatever am I going to do, it's not like I have a fire type out front. Uh, we're going to be making our way to Rock Tunnel, we are going to be going through Rock Tunnel. Oh, it's a Caterpie, and then we'll be arriving in Lavender Town. I don't know if we'll be taking on Gary, I, or uh, what it, Rufus, that's right, that's why I named him this game. I don't know if we'll be taking on Rufus today or if we'll leave that to next time. It'll probably depend on how long it takes us to get through Rock Tunnel and if we need to do some training, because I don't remember what level his Pokemon are, but yeah, I'm actually quite happy with my Pokemon right now. And actually, assuming we don't get two Pokemon I really like from Route 10 or Rock Tunnel, I'm pretty set with Minion as our HM Slaves, because... Uh, knowing the way things have been going, I doubt we'll, like, get some super awesome random Pokemon. It'll probably just end up being, like, another freaking another water type, but, you know, whatever. Or another illegal Pokemon, because they're all freaking illegal Pokemon. It's annoying. Um, but, yeah, so, I actually kind of had a philosophy for, like, the next time we find, like, a legal Pokemon that has a, an illegal moveset, that, um... I just, okay, the Pokemon Center is like right here, so I don't need to waste my items. That, like, we could just use the rare candies, and then as it learns new moves, we just delete the old moves. So, I don't actually know why I didn't think of that before, but, um, in the future, if it has illegal moves, then we'll just replace those moves as it levels up, and we just, yeah, I'm not that smart, okay? Deal with it. <laughs> Anyways. Let's get our Pokemon for Route 10. Hopefully it's a nice, decent level Pokemon. It's a, a level 11 Sandshrew. Not what I was going for. Let's use Smog because Smog is incapable of actually killing anything. Okay, that did nothing. Smog is like up there with those moves that like you just, I don't think it's possible to kill anything with. Like Smog, Leech Life is right there with it. Why don't I just start chucking Pokeballs? This is not going well at all. Um, I know there's more moves that I can't think of, but Smog and Leech Life are ones that really stand out. Poison Sting is definitely another one of, like, those are, like, the moves where I don't think it's, like, even possible to kill something. Like, they'll just stop at 1 HP and then they'll laugh at you for actually thinking you can kill them with it. Really? Two times? Two times in a row? You've shucked two times? That's... Imagine if there was an attack where, like, Sand Attack, but it affected your ability to throw Pokeballs. How messed up would that be? 
Like a sand shrew could just like start throwing sand in a trainer's face and you just can't catch it. You just gotta sit there and accept the fact that you just, you can't do anything about it. So, that would suck. Uh, no, we're not gonna nickname it. Although, I kinda wanna get a sand shrew and then nickname him like Brick House. Cause, you know, he looks like a brick. He looks like he's made of bricks and you know the song Brick House and... God, I'm so funny. Okay, let's take box... Let's take box one and we'll go this one over here. So, Minion, you will be back with us very soon, don't worry. You just need to be put in here really quick so we can hatch our new Pokemon friend. Oh, 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 hey, Professor, what's up? You got something for me? Uh, I think it's the Everstone, actually. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want that anyways. I, yeah, I don't think I have any Pokemon I don't want to evolve. Maybe, like, the only thing I can, might consider is, like, a Slackoth. Because I can just keep him a Vigoroth instead of a Slacking, but... I don't know if anybody sent us a slack off, and we can just come back and get it later, because for now it'll just be taken up at item space, and that would just not be any fun, so... Wow, okay, you know what, while this is trying to hatch, let's go into, um, Mount What's It's... Okay, I don't... I don't want to take on this trainer right now. Fine, we'll just... We'll just run around forever, and then we'll just never catch... Okay, fine, we'll take on the trainer. So just... We'd have to do it eventually, because I do want the experience. As when you don't take on trainers, like when you try to skip every trainer, it will come back to haunt you because then all of a sudden you're under level and then you're screwed. So it's definitely much better to take on the. Oh, pretty little burn. Nice. Okay, let's finish it off with a. Uh, oh, I forgot to use the Pokemon Center, didn't I? That was my bad. I forgot. Or actually, did I? I don't remember if I did or not. A Clefairy. Sipper, I think, is like two levels away from Brick Break, so I kind of. I think I'm going to focus on Sipper to get him to Brick Break. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure he learns it at 23. So, saying that, it probably is not at 23. It's probably like 50. In which case, I'm going to be sad. But if he doesn't learn it, I know he learns it in his 20s, I know that much. And either way, we can just get it at Sonon and teach it to him. So, it's not like the end of the world. And I'm surprised this Pokemon hasn't hatched yet. I know there's like one egg that it doesn't like hatch. It says like it'll take a long time. I hope we didn't see it happen to... Okay, no, this says it's almost ready to hatch, so... I, yeah, I know there's one egg where it's like, oh, it's not going to hatch for a very long time, so you're just going to have to run around forever, but... In the meantime, let's go get ourselves a brand new Pokemon... For, okay, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let's go get a brand new Pokemon in Rock Tunnel. And one thing I like about Rock Tunnel is there's a move tutor here that'll teach you Rock Slide. And that... you are a fighting type. Let's switch out. That's actually a pretty freaking awesome move. I don't know who I'm going to teach Rock Slide to. Maybe Moon? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure out who can learn it and who would have the best coverage on it. So, oh, oh, I'll give it to uh, Aerodactyl. Yeah, because, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I want to. That's why. I don't want to risk attacking this thing because I'm pretty sure anything Moon does will probably one-shot it. Um, double. Oh. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll just uh, we can just poison stall it actually. Now that'll work. Uh, let's. Um. I don't know what to do. Let's potion just, just to like waste a turn to get it to go down a little bit. And I guess we'll just start chucking Pokeballs now. This is the last Pokemon we could even catch until we get to Lavender Town. So even if we do run out of Pokeballs, it's not like we're going to be encountering any more Pokemon. And it doesn't matter because we caught it. Yay, happy face, fapping time. Good job. And now we got to go get another egg. And hopefully this one egg will hatch already. This is taking it. A lot of people have been like, Hardy, why don't you just get the fast egg hatch code? I'm just like, oh, I don't need the fast egg hatch code. They're all just, they hatch, they hatch really fast anyway, so it's not like it matters. And I'm really starting to consider getting the fast egg hatching code because, you know what? I have an idea. We're just going to pause. And I did this like in the first episode. I would pause and then just run around. And I, I've not remembered to do that ever since. So now that's what we're going to do. So yeah, see ya. Okay, so I've been running around forever, and this egg is just not hatching, so, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pretend this egg just, yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. It's a, it's a horrible egg, it's gonna go over here, box 10, and it's just gonna stay there forever, so. Okay, let's try this again, and in the meantime, I guess we'll take our Mankey along and just do both at the same time. You don't go there, Mankey. Okay, let's take box 3. Apparently a lot of people have been saying that box 4 is, like, full of bad eggs, or um, illegal Pokemon, so that's making me nervous, but just for the heck of it, let's take one from box four and let's put, uh, let's put Beto in the box just for a second, I promise he'll be back with us in a few minutes, baby. 
you don't have to stay here long. So the first one we hatch will be our level 11 Sandshrew. The second one we hatch will be our level 17 Mankey. So let's keep that in mind. So we don't have to worry about trying to remember and then having to get all confused and just life will turn into a horrible giant mess. And okay, our level 11 Sandshrew is becoming Brick House. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Yeah. So, um, yeah, all right, whatever. It's a boy. Dang, I was going to name it Jenny. Um, let's name you... Um, Jimmy. Because Jimmy's like the male version of Jenny, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, let's take a look at this little bad boy, little puppy he is. You can have to grow us, so... Bite, roar, fire spin. Yeah, sounds pretty legal to me. And let's give it up to level 11. Before I forget, I don't think I learned anything that exciting... I don't actually think he gets, like, Flamethrower until the 40s, so that kind of sucks, but I know in, like, Black 2 and White 2, I had, last time I played through that, I had a Growlithe, and actually, um, it might have been, like, Blaze Black 2 and Volt White 2, but either way, um, it doesn't matter which version it was, but last time I played through uh, Black 2, um, I had a Growlithe, and... Growlithe, if you don't evolve him to Arcanine until, like, level 40-something, Growlithe will actually learn Outrage by level up. And that was like, oh, yes. Yeah. So I dealed with a Growlithe until, like, level 48. Oh! Oh, my God! No! Pfft. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll just... We'll switch this around, and uh, the Growlithe will be for the Mankey. That... I got so distracted talking about Outrage, I didn't even realize what I was doing. Okay, so the next Pokemon we hatch will be our level 11 Pokemon. <laughs> Wow, pay attention, Hardy. I am so sorry. Either way, that, that's only in Black 2 and White 2. He doesn't learn that in any other games, which makes me sad, because that would have been amazing. But Arcanine's actually a really, really awesome Pokemon. So I would not be against having one if something... Ooh! <gasps> a Grass-type! Yes! Yes! Ah, finally! I would nickname you... I'm gonna nickname you. Oh god, I'm so happy. I don't know what to nickname you. I'm... One second. So, normally, I can hear when people are coming to my room. Because I can hear them coming down the stairs. And today, I have my turtle beaches on. So my ears are kind of covered. And I let my guard down. And of all the times for my grandmother to come down to my room, she happens to pick when I'm making my Trico noises, so. That was awkward. <laughs> then she started to make fun of me because of it, so. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to make any more Trico noises. <laughs> I got carried away. I, I, I'm I, sad. Okay, well, anyways, I'm going to nickname you... I would, I'm gonna, because he has a red belly, and it's his type of tree, I'm gonna nickname you Redwood. That's a good nickname. Okay. Oh, God, I'm so happy to finally have a grass type, and I don't even care, like, what moveset he has. Uh, dragon Breath. I know, that is, I'm actually, like, 90% sure that's legal, because I know Sceptile can learn Dragon Pulse in later generations, so it makes sense. And I am just... Oh, God, I just want, I want to use Redwood on my team right now, but we gotta use Sipper... And, uh, it's not fair. Or, not Zipper. We have to use Absol. But once we get through Rock Tunnel, we will have a Trico on our team. And it will be a beautiful, beautiful Trico. And I'm just going to be the happiest little Caterpie in the whole world. Okay. Wow. I am... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Just, like, get, getting... Of all the times, like, really, like, well, she had to pick, like, that exact moment to come down. Like, my enthusiasm's just kind of, like, gone away now. I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to play Pokemon anymore. I feel horrible. I feel so ashamed for making Caterpie noises. Anyways, um, yes, we finally, finally hatched a grass type. I remember someone saying there's only, like, two legal grass types in the entire game, so I just happened to pick the right egg, and now I'm a super happy Caterpie, so... I hope we have some repels, because there's no way I want to go through Rock Tunnel without them. I really, really hope I have some repels, but the first thing we need to do is use Flash. So, Minion, do your job, be my HM whore, and light my way. You light my life up, baby. Okay, so let's... Do we have repels? 
Yes, we have seven repels. I hope that's enough to get through here. Um, if it's not, it's not that big of a deal because we can just go back and get more. But Sipper is who we're going to be focusing on right now. I also want to focus on Houndor because I'm, I want to get Houndoom. And I think Houndor evolves at 24. So we're really close to getting a Houndoom. So that's going to be pretty awesome. And Bone Club. I thought Bone Club was a multi-hit move. Uh... What am I thinking of? I wrote a sword bone club was the move that... Oh no, I think that's bone rush that hits multiple times. Um, anyways, now would be a really good time to have our new grass type. For, oh, you might have confusion. Oh, I just realized that. Um, okay, so Slowpoke checks literally like my entire team. <laughs> yep, I knew it. He had confusion. Okay, good move on my part. Um, let's ice beam, I guess. I don't know, that's like the only move we have that isn't, I, I don't know, but a somewhat decent move, I guess. We could just theoretically put it to sleep, but once we have Trico on our team, we can stop being just like completely countered by water types, so that'll be us. And luckily the grass type we got isn't a poison type, so he's not checked by psychic types either, because literally like, freaking Slowpoke ruins like half my team with psychic and water types, that's a horrible combination, so we really are going to have to avoid slow pokes, and the bad news is, Worelli has like five freaking slow pokes, slow bros, although I doubt we'll have this exact team by the time we get to the Elite Four, um, oh my god, another slow poke, Ugh. <laughs> really, really, I should have saw that coming, this one's even higher level, they're everywhere, no, okay, you know what, I can play that game. I can confuse you too. Yeah, how does it be? Okay, Slowpoke's already confused, so... I'm surprised Slowpoke doesn't have an ability where, like, he becomes more powerful when he's confused. Because I know there's, I think, that ability Tangled Feet, where if you're confused, your evasion rises, which is pretty cool. I think, like, Bert... I, I can't remember who gets that. I think... Wow, okay, that's cool. Just immediately snap out. Uh, let's use some of these super potions, because I do not like my little Beto getting that low on health. Will you stop using Disable? I, okay, I'm really, war hope he doesn't go for Disable here, because that will make me, s oh, okay, or he could just miss. I was going to say, then I'll have to start using Water Gun, and that rate will never kill this thing, so. But, it's okay, oh, actually, no, we have Water Pulse now, not Water Gun, so. It's not as terrible, and we can confuse. We do, whoa, oh, oh, down here is not the move tutor. I thought that was the move tutor at first, it's just instead a useless revive. Okay, so there's like no way this girl is going to have a slowpoke, so hopefully Sipper can maybe get to level 23 in this battle? I want to think she has... I don't know what she might have. I know an Oddish, okay. I'm pretty sure the next trainer here has poison type Pokemon. Ah, speaking of poison type, wow. Okay, I'm never going to get a decent chance to train Sipper, because every time he's out here he has to switch out, because of poison or psychic type attacks, or whatever. Somebody has to come along and ruin all the fun. Sipper just wants to have fun. <gasps> Speaking of Sipper, someone actually... Why did I use Smog? Oh, someone actually made a Twitter account for Sipper. You whore! Oh, really? I am so glad I have so many antidotes. That is... I hate Prout. I hate poison. God dang it. That's why I hate poison... Po poison types are just so wrong. In so many ways, they just, god dang it, always have antidotes. Seriously, if you're playing a Nuzlocke and you don't buy antidotes, you might as well just put your Pokemon in the grave now, because they're going to die. It's as simple as that. They're going to die. So I don't know why, but I always remember having trouble with this guy, so I'm kind of worried. I think he has Golbats. I think that's what it is. Is that what he has? A Charmander. Okay, that's one ugly Golbat. Um, let's let Moon handle this. I was going to go into... Beto, because Beto is amazing, but I want to moon something. We haven't mooned anything yet in the video, but I've just been keeping my moon inside his Pokeball all day, and yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, someone made a Twitter account for Sipper the Heracross, and I think it's kind of cool how so many people are like, um, I don't know what the proper word is. I guess role-playing, because of my Egglock, you know, a lot of people have made, like, changed their YouTube, or even just, like, made new YouTube channels, like, because of my Pokemon, like, Doorbell to Spiel. Is a popular one, Moon, Nidoran, and I think there's also Moon, Nidoran King, 
And like whoever made the new Knit a Rant account came to me on Skype and he's like, someone made a new Knit a Rant account and now I'm sad. So he like, he wanted me to point out that he wanted me to remember that he was the original Moon and Nidoran, so yeah, he was the original, in case you're curious. Oh uh, let's go for seismic toss. Let's see how much that does. That does a decent amount. Alright. I think we're getting so close. We might get we brick break very, very magnitude. Oh god, no, 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 Wow, okay. I was so scared of magnitude. I forgot bug resisted ground. And I was just here pooping my pants because I was absolutely terrified. Okay, let's not take any more. Wow, oh, God, there's so many hikers. I don't want to take on the ground types because ground types use. Um, they use that horrible magnitude move. And it's just. I know Heracross resists ground type moves. Well, I know that now. I should know that because in my Storm Silver. Uh, I'm playing through Storm Silver, which is a hack of. Storm Silver is a hack of Soul Silver. That's what it is. And in that, I have Sipper and Heracross, which is where Sipper and this came from. And he's just been like annihilating ground type. So you think I'd remember, is he going to get it? Oh, come on, Brick Break. Maybe? Maybe? Yes! All right, we finally have that fighting time move. I like how I pointed out, oh, Heracross doesn't have a fighting time move. And people are like, dude, Seismic Toss is fighting. And it's just like, hey, hey, are you serious right now? Yes, it's technically a fighting type move, but it, ha it does a set amount of damage, so it's not like it really matters that it's a fighting type move. The only benefit, it, actually the only disadvantage is of it being a fighting type move, or really the only effect in general, is that it doesn't hit ghost types. So, yeah. I hate to burst you guys' bubble about everyone wanting to point out it's a fighting type move, but if you want to get technical, there's like nothing really fighting about it. It's not super effective against normal types, it's not super effective against steel, it literally always does the same amount of damage. And that's whatever level your Pokemon are. So, um, we are getting close to the move tutor. I definitely don't want to forget to go to that move tutor, because I don't want to have to come back later. And my uh, Nekestro could definitely use Rock Slide. That will be very useful on him. Because with both Rock Slide and Wing Attack, he will be ready to kick butt. I want to think he has Rock Tomb right now. So, Rock Slide would literally just be a straight upgrade for him. And awesome. Okay, Brick Break is one shotting Geodudes. I was a little worried it wouldn't because Geodudes usually has such high defense. But I keep forgetting Sipper is literally just a rock destroyer. He that attack stat, man. That's all I can say about Sipper is that attack stat. So massive. Heracross just Heracross is a very dangerous Pokemon. Like I actually kinda curious now. Let's go take a look at his attack stat, because I'm very curious as to what it is. He has 73. Oh no, to be fair, his special attack is 23, so, yeah, but, just to compare, um, Adamant Nidoking, who's the same level, only has a 57 attack stat. The Kestro, who's a few levels lower, is 50. Yeah, pretty much, oh, dang, look at that attack stat on Absol. Wow, that's just level 16. Alright, I'm kind of regretting him being my HM slave now. Although, we can always reverse it when we get to Fuchsia, which, actually, probably won't be that far away, but, still. Uh, yeah, so that just pretty much goes to show you that um, this, the Heracross is just kind of an overpowered monster that will destroy absolutely everything. So, you best be careful, because Heracross is coming for you. He's coming for you, boy. Um, that's the, okay, I believe the move tutor is down this path here. And then we're almost out of this cave. We have a few more trainers and we'll be done. We'll be in Lavender Town. And we will have a happy but Oh, you you better not put me to sleep. I will seriously be so upset if you put me to sleep, you stupid little Jigglypuff. I was... I don't know why, but for some reason I ended up watching um, Pokemon in Real Life, which is a video series by Sma uh, Smosh. Which, fun fact, Smosh lives like 30 miles away from me, so that's pretty cool. Um, and, and I think in part, like, 4? Or part 3... Uh, whoever's playing Ash, I don't know who's who on that channel because I really don't watch Smosh, but either way, they, um, he kept encountering a Jigglypuff that kept putting him to sleep, and Jigglypuff ended up, like, drawing a very odd-shaped penis and ball sack on his face, and I don't know why, but just seeing that Jigglypuff reminded me of that, and it was actually, you know, it was pretty funny, so, if you haven't seen the Pokemon in real life series, I actually kind of suggest watching it, I think there's only four videos of it, but they're actually pretty funny, so... 
Uh, yep, here you are. Here's my baby. You're going to teach me a Pokemon? Rock Slide? Yes. The bad thing is we're going to teach you to win Pokemon, and wow, a lot of people can learn it. But, like I said, actually, I'm going to go look at, at Nekestra's moves, or move pool first, because if he's going to learn Rock Slide and I waste my move to do here, I'm actually going to be kind of sad. So, I'm going to go check that first. Okay, so the only move, uh, rock type move, Nekestra would actually learn is Ancient Power. And this is pretty much like a straight up upgrade to Ancient Power, except that it doesn't have the ability to raise all your stats. So, either way, why does Rock Team have 80% accuracy? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but either way, let's get rid of that horrible Rock Tomb for a absolute... Rock Slide, pretty much like besides uh, Stone Edge, Rock Slide is just a 100% upgrade to like every Rock Type move. It's pretty much like the best, well, I don't want to say it's the best Rock Type move because now people are going to go on some rant about like some Rock Type move I can't think of that's just so much better than every other Rock Type move. And yeah, I, and a fun little side fact I just found out, Trico can breed with Salamence. So, that's right. This tiny... Oh... Okay, that's right. That tiny little Trico, he sticks his twig, if you will, if you get the anime reference, inside a Salamence. And it will make baby little Bagons. <laughs> and... Or actually, I don't know how breeding works. I don't know if it's the male or the female, or if it's like 50-50. I probably should know that, but I... I think it's the father, or, you know, actually I think it might just be random, I I really have no clue, like, how that's determined which Pokemon it is, and once again, everyone's gonna feel the need to tell me in the comments. Another fun fact I just found out, Trico, I might actually have uh, Trico's, like, breeding list in the background right here, because I was just checking that it can, in fact, learn, um, it can learn Dragon Breath, because I really want this guy to be legal, and, um, he can, by the way, that's how I found out, because he could breed with Salamence, but uh, Trico could actually breed with the Mudkip one, which, you know, it's like, why can he do that? <laughs> They're supposed to be like enemies, but no, apparently Swampert and Sceptile are actually in the same eight group, so I thought that was interesting. Hopefully you guys thought that was it. Why, why are there so many Slowpokes here? Can you, can you, like, actually catch Slowpoke in this cave? That's out of curiosity, because... Like, this is, like, the fourth guy that's had Slowpokes, and I don't know what is with, like, these sudden addiction to Slowpokes. And apparently they only decide they want to have Slowpokes when we don't have any Pokemon that are strong against it, so... Another... So many Slowpokes! They're everywhere! Everywhere! Don't you confuse me. I didn't want to face the Slowpokes, Mom. I just want to go home. But everywhere I go, Slowpoke always knows that if he confuses me, I will be very sad. Okay, I just ruined that song. Happy face. Okay, we are at the end here, unfortunately. Can we skip these traders? Oh, we can! Awesome! I will make sure to come back. Okay, we can't skip you. So you say, I will make sure to come. Actually, I'll probably forget to come back to them when I'm doing grinding. Because we do have that wonderful route that is west of Lavender Town where you can do a ton of grinding. So that's going to be super exciting. We'll probably end up doing that next time before we take on... Whoa, that did a ton of damage. That's kind of scary. But it's okay because Charcoal's now level 22. You got a Pidgey. Let's let's try out our brand new Rock Slide. Because we haven't used Nekestro at all this video, so this will be a good time to start it off. And yay! Our very first use time using Rock Slide, and we miss. Wow. I don't think I've like ever once missed Rock Tomb when I was grinding, and that has 80% accuracy. The very first time I try using uh, Rock Slide, which is 90% accuracy, I miss. So that's nice. <laughs> that's also very tip. Don't you poison powder? Don't. Oh! Oh! I am, like, flailing my arms around right now, because I am just so upset with this Oddish. I knew it was going to poison powder. Like, the second I saw it live, it hit in my mind, like, this thing's going to poison me. And it did. So, ah, Sad face. Okay, let's get out of Rock Tunnel, and... Alright. Well, 
next time we'll be arriving in Lavender Town, we can be able to get a... I don't think we can actually get a Pokemon in Lavender Town, but we can get one in Pokemon Tower. Which, unfortunately, it will be a Ghastly, and we can't... No, we can't even catch Pokemon there until we get the Silph Scope, so never mind. We won't be doing that, but we will be catching a few other Pokemon next time we have some more eggs. Until then, thank you for watching. I'm Marty Tegelio. Peace!